Uh, ladies and gentlemen, George Wallace. Strict instructions that I had uh, 10 minutes, but eight minutes if I say hello. <laughs> uh, I'll take the risk of uh, uh, two minutes of hello. It's a pleasure to be here representing the Walt Whitman Birthplace in uh, New York, here in uh, beautiful downtown Albuquerque, where it's nice and warm in one building in New Mexico. <laughs> I understand that now that they have all of the snow melted off of uh, the Super Bowl, they're going to restore gas to New Mexico. <laughs> Uh, I have uh, two poems I'm going to read to you from uh, Walt Whitman's uh, work, and uh, what a pleasure it is that I don't have to be triple jointed, suffer from a rare medical condition, and to pack with a double to me. <laughs> Walt Whitman, who said, This is what you shall do love the earth and sun and the animals, despise riches, give alms to everyone that asks, stand up for the stupid and crazy, devote your income and labor to others, hate tyrants, argue not concerning God, have patience and indulgence towards the people. I have two poems for you. The first one is called Miracles. I want to make sure everybody sees me. <laughs> miracles. Why? Who makes much of a miracle? As to me, I know of nothing else but miracles. Whether I walk the streets of Manhattan or dart my sight over the roofs of houses toward the sky, or wade with naked feet along the beach just at the edge of the water, or stand under the trees in the woods, or talk by day with anyone I love, or sleep in the bed at night with anyone I love, or sit at dinner at table with my mother, or look at strangers opposite me riding in the car, or watch honeybees busy around the hive of a summer afternoon, or animals feeding in the fields, or birds, or stars shining so quiet and bright, or the exquisite, delicate, thin curve of the new moon in spring. Whether I go among those I like the best and that I like me the best, mechanics, boatmen, farmers, or among the savants, or to the soiree, or to the opera, or stand a long while looking at the movements of machinery, or behold children at their sports, or the admirable sight of the perfect old man, or the perfect old woman, or the sick in hospitals, or the dead carried to burial, or my own eyes and figure in the glass. These, with the rest, one and all, are to me miracles. The whole referring, yet each distinct in its place, to me every hour of the light and dark is a miracle, every cubic inch of space a miracle. Every square yard of the surface of the earth is spread with the same, every foot of the interior swarms with the same, every spear of grass, the frames, limbs, organs of men and women, and all that concerns them. All these to me are unspeakably perfect miracles. To me the sea is a continual miracle. The fishes that swim, the rocks, the motion of the waves, the ships with men in them. What stranger miracles are there? And this for Walt Whitman's little moment. What do you see, Walt Whitman? I see all the menials of the earth laboring. I see all the prisoners in the prisons. I see the defective human bodies of the earth. The blind, the deaf, and dumb. Idiots, hunchbacks, lunatics, pirates, thieves, betrayers, murderers, slave makers of the earth. The helpless infants and the helpless old men and women. I see male and female everywhere. I see the serene brotherhood of philosophers. I see ranks, colors, barbarisms, civilizations. I go among them. I mix indiscriminately and I salute all the inhabitants of the earth. You, whoever you are. All you continentals of Asia, Africa, Europe, Australia, indifferent of place. All you are the numberless islands of the archipelagos of the sea, and you of centuries hence, when you listen to me, and you each and everywhere whom I specify not, but include just the same. Health to you, goodwill to you all from me and America sent, each of us inevitable. Each of us limitless, each of us with his or her right upon the earth, each of us allowed the eternal purports of the earth, each of us here as divinely as any is here. Toward you all in America's name, I raise high the perpendicular hand. 